If you don't want to buy into the end goal of the team, then you don't need to be there. And like it's and, and if there's somebody that's on the team and they're not buying into the end goal, cut them loose. What up, though? It's your guy, Dante Warmly, a.k.a. Big Time Cycling, a.k.a. Lieutenant Dan. Welcome to a new edition of Cycling Freedom, in which we get a chance to hear from legendary cyclist Justin Williams. During the 2023 Mac One Love Weekend, I had the pleasure to attend a table talk with cycling champion Justin Williams at the Specialized Store in Atlanta, Georgia. In addition to Justin, the Table Talk also featured other professional cyclists such as Dante Young. The discussion was presented by pro rider agent Erica L. Justin Williams is a name synonymous with excellence in the world of professional cycling. A true legend in the world of cycling, Justin has taken the sport to new heights with his incredible accomplishments and a journey that's nothing short of inspiring. But before we get too far into the video, I gotta let you know that I'm on a mission. I'm gunning for 100 likes on this video and hoping to get up to 200 subscribers. So do me a favor, hit the like button, drop a comment, share this video far and wide, and be sure to subscribe to the Cycling Freedom channel. Now more about the legend, Justin Williams. Starting out cycling on the streets of LA, Justin quickly rose through the ranks, becoming one of the most recognized names in American cycling. He's notched up quite a list of achievements, including multiple national championships, in road and criterium crit racing. But what sets Justin apart isn't just the titles, it's his dedication and unwavering passion for exposing the sport of cycling to major cities and urban areas across the United States. His pioneering spirit and commitment to breaking barriers in the sport of cycling is nothing short of remarkable. As a trailblazer, Justin is the founder of Legion of LA Cycling Team, a team that's changing the game by winning and promoting access to the sport in diverse communities. Through his advocacy and leadership, Justin is making cycling more accessible and inclusive for everyone. As a charismatic and highly accomplished cyclist, Justin Williams continues to inspire a new generation of riders while challenging the status quo of professional cycling. His story serves as a shining example of how talent, determination, and commitment can reshape an entire sport. And he remains a pivotal figure in an ongoing evolution of cycling on both the national and global stage. Do y'all know about Erica L? She's also a trailblazer in the world of cycling. Not only is she a UCI pro rider agent, but I believe she's one of just three in the entire United States. If I'm wrong, then let me know in the comments. What's truly amazing about Erica is her dedication to making cycling a more inclusive sport. She's been putting in the work to spread the word about cycling, and making cycling more accessible, especially in urban communities. Erica has gone the extra mile and founded the Level Up Cycling Movement. This nonprofit is all about three important missions. First, it's all about introducing cycling to minority communities and growing the entire cycling fan. Second, it's building a path from the neighborhood to the pro leagues. And third, they're raising funds for some awesome causes. A salute to Erica for making the cycling world better and for hosting this outstanding table talk with the pro cyclists. So during the table talk, Justin Williams emphasized that a crab in the barrel mentality is not tolerated on his LA Legion team. Let's hear from Justin. If you don't want to buy into the end goal of the team, then you don't need to be there. 
And like it's and, and if there's somebody that's on the team and they're not buying into the end goal, cut them loose. Because they're gonna it only takes one person to infect the whole team. And once that one person infects the whole team, then like I ain't doing that. Dante did this, I'm doing what's best for me. Oh, I ain't doing that. Corey did this, I'm doing what's best for me. And you start to see it happen slowly, but it happens every time. So like Wow, so true. But here's the deal. Justin ain't afraid to call out the crab mentality that can sneak in and wreck a good thing. He's like, if we want to win, we got to get rid of the crabs. What Justin said about the crab cyclist also happens in real life. And I think you got to take Justin's advice and apply it to life outside of cycling. The bootleg crab mentality, otherwise known as a negative mental attitude, is detrimental and is similar to a highly contagious virus which can spread amongst teammates and any relationship. That's why if you detect a negative mental attitude, you know, crab-like behavior with anyone associated with you, you need to root it out and boot it out. Oh, and pay attention to this golden nugget of wisdom from Justin. He's all about keeping a positive mental attitude. According to him, it's like the secret sauce for his team's success. Everybody's got to grab their role with both hands and work together for the team to be victorious. It all starts with having a positive mental attitude and setting goals. These are two key ingredients which has attributed to much of his team's success. Everybody on the team is committed to getting one guy in that jersey a result. It has to happen. It has to happen. It may take you a week, it may take you a month, it may take you a year. But if you guys are committed to the one goal and everybody understands what they're actually good at, proven actually good at, you'll get the result, for sure. Justin went on to describe how he is taking his vision to greater levels and offering opportunities to other cyclists in order to expand the reach of cycling to the community. In addition to Legion, it appears that he has established two more teams, the Miami Blaze and the Austin Aviators. Let's hear what he has to say on why he's building multiple teams. Every year we're looking for opportunity to give other people a platform to be the best version of themselves. The, the more that we are successful in um, bringing in sponsors that are buying into this lead kind of like vision, the more job we get to give out. So, you know, we had Legion win here, and then we had Miami Blaze, and we had the Austin Aviators. And they're, they're, you know, all the teams basically were in a better place than the, the previous team the year before. Right, so the aviator started off with a better budget than the Miami Blazers had last year. And so with that, like, we just feel like that's a, there's a bit of winning fatigue, but it's, it's, not a, it's not a game. When the Legion shows up to race, they want to win. Like nine times out of ten, we win. And so I think that that was... <laughs> so get the scoreboard up. <laughs> the great thing about what's happening here in the U.S. is that cycling as a hobby and as entertainment is growing by leaps and bounds. Check out what Erica said on how cycling in the U.S. is gaining worldwide attention and respect. Started as a joke. That was no such thing, right? The U.S. was looked at as a joke when it came to cycling. Now everybody wants to be here, right? And it's not because these guys it's y'all too. They watch y'all Instagram too. It's live in the U.S. when it comes on these bikes, right? So we're, we're Building that way, and everybody here is part of it. Justin and Legion, they're like a well oiled machine. Justin told us about how every single member takes responsibility for their role and totally buys into the team's big picture. They're like a squad of superheroes with one mission no egos, just teamwork. So, check this it's all about teamwork and accountability. So like first, what's the end goal? Whether that be a race, whether that be a, a, a group ride, whether that be a fundraiser you got to doing. Everybody need to have their jobs and they need to buy into their jobs and they should be proud of that, right? On our team, the reason that Legion's been able to win so much is because everyone buys into the end goal. 
everybody wants to win. Everybody understands what their role is on the team, and they'll do that role to the best of their ability. And if somebody else can't do their job, there's a lot of people that will step in and meet gladly to do both jobs. And once you create that environment as far as racing, that's when you start to see results. Cycling tends to value people based off of their results. And it's, it's not just about results. You know, for us, like, the results are important, but they're pretty much the last, if they're a quarter of your job. You know what I mean? You gotta take care of your social media. You gotta make sure that you show up to community events. You gotta make sure that you're amongst the people being a great ambassador. And so setting the tone, Dante's you know, done a good job with that. So when you hear the name Justin Williams, it's not just about cycling excellence. It's about breaking down barriers and inspiring a new generation of riders. He's rewriting the story of cycling and he's a key player in the ongoing transformation of the sport, both nationally and internationally. So tell me your thoughts. What do you think about Justin's table talk? Do you agree with what he's saying? Do you agree regarding removing the crab mentality and adopting a positive mental attitude? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I appreciate you tuning in to the Cycling Freedom Network. I hope you found this video insightful. And don't be shy. Hit the like button, drop a comment, and share this video with your cycling click. And you gotta remember to smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss any of my new videos. And if you're looking to check out one of Matt One Love's rides, go ahead and click the link down there in the bottom right corner. Keep it rolling, fam. Peace.